Fans, friends, and followers, this presentation is based on one of the national examination questions. Hope you will enjoy this and like it. National examination, grade 12, general mathematics, paper number 1, 2014. Question 35. Find three consecutive whole numbers whose array is 27. To find these three consecutive numbers whose array is 27, let the first number be x and the second consecutive number be x plus 1 and the third one be x plus 2. Use the array or the mean formula to find these three consecutive numbers. Mean formula states mean is equals to sum of x divided by n or we can say mean is equals to sum of scores divided by number of scores. Our mean is 27. This 27 is equals to x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. These three consecutive numbers. Everything divided by 3. Alright. If we omit the brackets then we'll have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. All this divided by 3. When we simplify our new equation becomes 27 is equals to 3x plus 3, everything divided by 3, okay? We are trying to solve for x, alright? So the first number to get rid of from this new equation is the denominator 3 on your right-hand side. The only way to get rid of the denominator from your right-hand side is you multiply your right-hand side by 3. But because of that equal sign and you have multiplied uh, 3 on your right hand side, you also do the same to your left hand side. Multiply your left hand side or 27 by 3. When we multiply everything by 3, then we have this new equation. Our new equation is 81 is equals to 3x plus 3. Alright, the next number to get rid of is positive 3 from your right hand side. And the only way to get rid of that positive 3 from your right hand side is you take that opposite of positive 3 which is minus 3. In other words, subtract uh, 3 from your right hand side. And when you subtract 3 from your right hand side, you do the same to your left hand side. Subtract 3 from your left hand side. When we subtract 3 from both sides, then our equation becomes 81 take away 3 is equals to 3x plus 3 take away 3. Alright, when we simplify, then our new equation becomes 78 is equals to 3x. Alright, we are trying to solve for x. Therefore, divide your right hand side by 3. Alright, 3x divided by 3. Because of that equal sign, you also divide 78 by 3. Alright. And when we divide everything by 3, then x becomes, or x is equals to 26. That simply means that out of those three consecutive numbers, the first number is 26. So the numbers are 26, 27, and 28. These are the three consecutive numbers whose uh, array is 27. Thank you very much for watching. I believe you have learned something and enjoyed the video. Do not forget to invite your friends to be part of this page. See you next time.